Today marks 10 years since flames ripped through Fifth Third Ballpark. On January 3rd, 2014, the fire devastated almost half the ballpark. Crews worked day in and day out to repair the damage in time for opening day. They got there, by the way. And while we were talking about what we were doing that day, yeah. mostly warm here in the station, News H. Joe Lafergi and Henry Herb were freezing that day out mm -hmm. of the fire. Let's take a look back. The acrid black smoke could be seen all the way downtown, but witnesses like Josh Abbasi, who worked at the coffee shop across the street from the park, were thinking the same thing. The park can't burn down. It's the ballpark. You go there, I mean, you don't think it would ever catch on fire or be destroyed in any way. The fire was first reported at about 11 this morning after smoke began billowing from the suite along the first baseline at Fifth Third Ballpark. About 30 employees got out. The sprinkler system failed to control the spread of the flames, and by the time firefighters arrive, the fire is racing from west to east through the suites in the concession area. Start in one of the suites, um, spread into the attic area, and once it gets in the attic, it uh, um, tends to move pretty fast because it has a lot of oxygen and there aren't a lot of uh, fire breaks. Plainfield firefighters got help from Grand Rapids crews, Alpine, Walker, and Rockford. Within a half hour of the first call, crews on the concourse were told to get out. It was too dangerous to fight the fire from inside. As the first base side burned, flames began to eat away at the third base suites and concession area. Hours later, as the smoke began to clear, signs of just how close the flames were to taking out the rest of the park were evident. Flames licked away at the suites and concession row along the third base side. But firefighters were able to stop that from happening. A positive note on a day that was anything but for local baseball fans. It's just different seeing it when it's something so sentimental to like so many people. They had a pipe water more than a thousand feet from hydrants outside the ballpark property. That meant that when the water got to the fire, the stream didn't have the power they needed. And having to lay hose long distances delayed fighting the fire by 15 minutes, according to the chief. There's two hydrants, and the first two apparatus used those. The, the other hydrants were um, are on the edges of the property. And because of that, and because of the size of the property, it was a long lay. The chief says there weren't enough fire hydrants close enough for the number of hoses they needed to try to get ahead of the fire as it burned steadily through the building. A fire that they never got under control until it ran out of things to burn. Right now on Wood TV, you can learn more about the rebuilding process and their commitment to the community and getting the field ready by opening day.